In this video I will show as simple and fast as possible how to set up Twitch events for you to use on your stream. Any questions or problems you might have, feel free to get in touch with me. To make the app and mod work, you will need to access your Twitch developer console. Once logged in go into applications and add a new one. Just name it whatever you want, and in the OAL3 direct URLs type https colon slash slash localhost. To get the Assess token from Twitch API, you will need to send a request for with the client ID of your application in the developer console. To do so, you will need to replace the CLIENT ID on the link provided in the description with the app you registered on Twitch. The Access token will be contained in the URL of your browser. Copy the value after Assess underscore token equals to your text file. This is the token that we will use to access Twitch events, such as bit events, subs, point rewards, among other things. Next, we will need the OAuth for chat access. You can use your own account, or like me, use another account for the bot. I just googled Twitch OAuth token and went with the obvious choice. It doesn't matter where you get the token from, as long as you get a valid one. Now, we fill in the token settings in the app. Make sure you use the correct tokens in the correct places. One misplaced token will fault the app operation. I use a add-on on Chrome to get the channel id, there are multiple ways of doing this, but for me, this is the easiest one. After all the values are filled, just click save and close the token config window. Now it's time to test and config some rewards. In the settings window, the active rewards will be displayed on the saved rewards group. Since this is the first time running the app, we first need to get the reward list from Twitch API. To do so, just click on the button list from Twitch. The first time you do this, it will retrieve the custom rewards from your channel and it will be a bit slow. After that it will only retrieve the rewards that are new or changed, so it will be a lot faster. To configure reward, click on the image to open the reward settings window. Pick what you want the reward to trigger, it can be one or several triggers. Now we test the app. We will look for activity on the Twitch events, and report only the active rewards, but monitor all the activity, but only active rewards will trigger something. A new functionality I've added to the app is, a Twitch bot chat. By default the bot has three commands. Help will display all the available commands, 
survived will get the current runs time the player has survived, and traits will get the current build listing all the player traits in the current run. The basics of RiverScript are simple, a plus sign followed with text will let the bot know he has to reply to the text, a minus sign followed by text will be what the bot replies to the plus text. To add a new command, I just need to add plus trigger text and minus reply text, as simple as that. After changing the file, you will need to disconnect and reconnect the bot so that it loads the new changes you have made. You can have one trigger and multiple reply options. If you add several replies, the bot will select one of them randomly. I have also added TTS to the app. This will allow you to have TTS as a reward, running at whatever language you want and have full control over it. No lag, no fees, just something Windows has been able to do for a long time. Hi there. My name is Mark. Test 1, 2, 3. Testing the TTS bit of the app. Hello there. Once again just a test to see if this TTS works. Hello everyone. Any questions or problems you might have, feel free to get in touch with me. The best way to do so is to join the project Zomboid official Discord server.